Greetings, seekers of knowledge. Here we find ourselves gathering for another intriguing episode of In Tune. The gates of our secret garden are now open. Welcome to the monastery lost in the woods. That hidden place where you and me are going to sit together and have a chat in peace. Tonight, under a full moon, we're going to talk about the fascinating realm of metaphysics. This branch of philosophy delves into the questions that transcend the physical world. We're talking about existence, reality, causality, and the very nature of being. The term metaphysics traces back to the works of the great philosopher Aristotle. He used it to describe the study of what comes after the physical, effectively setting the stage for millennia of philosophical exploration. This exploration seeks to pierce the veil of the observable universe, reaching for the underlying truths that escape our senses. Through metaphysics, we strive to understand the fundamental nature of reality beyond what we can see, touch, hear, smell, or taste. In essence, metaphysics seeks to understand the fundamental nature of reality that goes beyond what our senses perceive. Metaphysics has a rich history dating back to ancient times. The seeds of metaphysics were planted by Aristotle, a titan of ancient philosophy. He penned a collection of works coined as metaphysics which laid the groundwork for this fascinating branch of philosophy. Aristotle's metaphysics delved deep into the heart of existence, asking questions that transcended the physical world and sought to understand the very fabric of reality itself. As we journeyed forward to the medieval period, metaphysics began to intertwine with Christian theology, thanks to influential thinkers like Thomas Aquinas. His work helped to solidify the place of metaphysics within the philosophical discourse, as he sought to reconcile Aristotelian philosophy with Christian beliefs. Metaphysics during this period became a tool to explore divine existence, looking beyond the physical world to the spiritual realm. As the pages of history turned to the Renaissance, an era marked by a resurgence of art, culture, and intellectual thought, metaphysics found renewed interest. Philosophers began to re-engage with metaphysical questions, using them to challenge long-held beliefs and to delve deeper into the mysteries of existence. With the dawn of the Enlightenment came a seismic shift in metaphysical thought. This was an age of reason, an age where the secular began to challenge the spiritual. Metaphysics was no longer confined to the realm of theology, but began to explore questions of human existence, consciousness, and the nature of reality from a more secular perspective. Yet. The evolution of metaphysics didn't stop there. As we moved into the 19th and 20th centuries, philosophers like Immanuel Kant and Martin Heidegger took up the metaphysical mantle. Kant, with his transcendental idealism, sought to reconcile the rationalist and empiricist traditions, while Heidegger focused on the concept of being, taking metaphysical inquiry to new depths. In the 19th and 20th centuries, philosophers like Immanuel Kant and Martin Heidegger furthered the exploration of metaphysical questions. Their work, along with that of many others, has shaped metaphysics into the complex and captivating philosophical field we know today. Some key figures have significantly shaped the landscape of metaphysics. Let's begin with Plato, one of the most prominent figures of classical Greek philosophy. His theory of forms asserted that non-physical forms or ideas represent the most accurate reality. This belief laid the groundwork for much of Western philosophy and profoundly influenced metaphysical thought. Moving forward to the 17th century, we encounter René Descartes. This French philosopher is often called the father of modern Western philosophy. Descartes is renowned for his cogito argument, cogito ergo sum, which translates to, I think, therefore I am. This powerful assertion highlights the certainty of existence, a fundamental concern in metaphysics. Next, we have Friedrich Nietzsche, a philosopher of the late 19th century. Nietzsche's metaphysics revolved around the idea of will to power, suggesting that the driving force behind human behavior and the world at large is the desire for power. His ideas challenged traditional metaphysical concepts and opened new avenues for thinking about existence and reality. Last, but certainly not least, we have Alfred North Whitehead, a British philosopher and mathematician of the early 20th century. 
Whitehead's process philosophy proposed that reality is not made up of material objects, but of events. His work provided a fresh perspective on metaphysics, shifting the focus from static objects to dynamic processes. So, from Plato's theory of forms to Descartes' cogito argument, Nietzsche's will to power, and Whitehead's process philosophy, these key figures have left indelible marks on the field of metaphysics. Their ideas continue to shape contemporary discourse, sparking debates and inspiring new generations of thinkers. Each brought their unique perspective, influencing how we think about the fundamental nature of reality. Their contributions remind us that metaphysics, like reality itself, is ever-evolving, shaped by the minds that dare to question and explore the mysteries of existence. Despite its historical significance, metaphysics has faced criticism, particularly from the scientific community. This is a sentiment often echoed in the halls of academia, where metaphysics and science sometimes seem to be at odds. For starters, empirical sciences, that's your physics, your chemistry, your biology, they argue that metaphysical claims lack empirical evidence. In other words, these claims can't be tested or measured in a way that science requires. Metaphysics often deals with concepts like existence, causation, identity, things that aren't exactly quantifiable. So from a scientific perspective, metaphysical theories can seem speculative, even baseless. But let's take a minute to dig into this criticism. We have to remember that metaphysics isn't trying to replace or replicate empirical science. It's a completely different field of study, with its own methods and goals. It's like comparing apples to oranges, or quantum physics to a philosophical treatise. However, this doesn't mean that the criticism is without merit. It's true that metaphysical theories often lack the kind of concrete evidence that we're used to in science. And this is a serious challenge for metaphysics. How can we validate a theory about the nature of existence, when existence itself is such a complex and elusive concept? Moreover, critics contend that metaphysics might stray into the realm of unfalsifiable ideas. That is, ideas that can't be proven false no matter what evidence we might find. This is a big no-no in science, where falsifiability is a key criterion for a good theory. If a theory can't be disproven, then it's not really testable. And if it's not testable, then it's not scientific. This is where metaphysics comes under fire. It's often accused of dealing in theories and ideas that can't be tested or disproven, making it challenging to validate or disprove theories about the nature of reality. But remember, metaphysics isn't science. It's a different way of looking at the world. And while it may not provide concrete answers, it does pose some fascinating questions. Critics contend that metaphysics might stray into the realm of unfalsifiable ideas, making it challenging to validate or disprove theories about the nature of reality. But isn't that what makes the journey so intriguing? What does the future hold for metaphysics? As we forge ahead into the unknown, the landscape of metaphysics is set to undergo an exciting evolution. A new era of interdisciplinary collaboration is dawning, where the lines between philosophy, science and technology are becoming increasingly blurred. Metaphysics has always been about exploring the questions that transcend our physical reality. Now it's extending its reach, forming intriguing connections with fields such as quantum physics, neuroscience, and even artificial intelligence. These alliances are opening up new avenues of thought, fostering a deeper understanding of our existence. Consider quantum physics, a field that grapples with phenomena beyond the scope of classical physics. It's here, in the realm of the minuscule and the intangible, that metaphysics finds fertile ground. Questions about the nature of particles, wave-particle duality, and the mysterious phenomenon of entanglement are all ripe for metaphysical interpretation. Neuroscience, too, is a field ripe for metaphysical exploration. As we unlock the secrets of the human brain, we're faced with questions about consciousness, free will, and the nature of the self. These are questions that have tantalized philosophers for centuries, and the intersection of neuroscience and metaphysics promises to shed new light on these enduring mysteries. But perhaps the most exciting frontier is the interplay between metaphysics and artificial intelligence. As we venture into the realm of machine learning and AI, we're compelled to ponder what it means to be sentient, to be conscious. Can a machine possess consciousness? If so, what are the implications for our understanding of reality and existence? 
These are just a few of the intriguing questions that will shape the future of metaphysics. The exploration of consciousness, the nature of time, and the relationship between mind and matter are becoming focal points for future metaphysical inquiries. The answers we find may not only redefine our understanding of the universe, but also our place within it. This is the promise of metaphysics, a promise of deeper understanding, greater knowledge, and an ever-evolving perspective on the mysteries of existence. As we conclude this enlightening journey through the corridors of metaphysics, we've scratched the surface of a profound and evolving philosophical realm. We've taken a deep dive into the origins and evolution of metaphysics, touched on the key figures who've shaped it, and explored the criticisms it's faced from the scientific community. We've also peeked into the future, where exciting intersections with quantum physics, neuroscience, and artificial intelligence promise to further illuminate our understanding of reality. This journey has revealed that metaphysics, despite its abstract nature, is a crucial part of our collective quest to comprehend the world beyond the physical. It's a testament to the human spirit, our insatiable curiosity, and our need to make sense of the universe we inhabit. Join us next time as we continue our quest for knowledge on. Until then, keep questioning, keep exploring, and keep expanding your understanding of the world around you. The gates of our secret garden are now closed.